to talk about the battery interface. So many of you might think that what's that? It's ground and we battery. <laughs> but it's it's not really just that. So I'm going to talk about uh, what are the functions of battery interface. Of course, there's the function that you provide the power to the devices. And then I'm going to talk about uh, why we we founded this uh, with the battery interface group. <coughs> and after that, um, I will show an example, like typical example, how we think uh, it will uh, fit to uh, mobile system. Uh, after that, then uh, we will have a quick look about rough idea about the, what the specification will be. And then a um, quick look to history, history and uh, coming roadmap. And uh, then the standard information. Yeah. Okay, here's the uh, big picture of, of the mobile system, typical mobile system. And uh, big battery interface would be typically between the power management unit and the, the battery pack. So we we have here, of course, the power lines, and, but then we have a communication line. So why, what are the functions of the battery interface? So it's really something else than the, uh, that uh, we, we need to basically ensure that we, we get enough information out of the battery pack to make our charging as efficient as possible and same time safe. So in order to do that, you have to somehow identify the, what kind of battery you are uh, charging. So, as of today, um, most of the batteries, they have a very simple identification mechanism. And it's usually based on cooldown resistor inside the battery pack. And as you can imagine, it's very easy to copy uh, that kind of battery. You just put the cell and then you measure the original battery, basic cooldown resistor value, and then you put your own cell and similar resistor and you're set to go. And you can have a very easily cheap counterfeit batteries. And uh, other things that we you need to do with the battery interface is the chemistry and capacity as a whole. So you have to check out the chemistry and, and also the capacity because that uh, defines your charging current, maximum charging current, typically. And then you need to know whether the battery is present or not. So you can imagine a situation where you broke off the battery, you don't have power anymore here left to tell whether, uh, whether your battery is present or not. So it has to happen somehow earlier than, uh, than the actual battery statement way. Uh, that is important, uh, especially in situations when you try to memory cards or some secure data to your SIM card or something like that. So it's, it's very vital to know that. And also you want to know many times the temperature uh, of the battery so that you don't charge it if it's too cold or too hot. And, uh, some people are using NTC resistor there, and that sort of things. And um, what we are aiming in PIV is mainly the smart battery. And uh, smart battery can provide a lot more functions to us. So we can have secure authentication. Uh, that means that it's it will be very difficult for counterfeit battery makers to, to copy. And uh, also we can provide more optimum charging parameters to get most out of the cell 
uh, all kind of state of charge, max current voltage, temperature, and uh, all kind of automatic limits. And also we can have history, charging cycles, and adjust our charging with that. And why, why we started with the B? Uh, so for mobile terminal manufacturers, uh, as of today, they have a very different uh, requirements first place, and also the different the solutions are different. And uh, they have to specify each battery interface to the battery manufacturers. That's a lot of work. And it's the same story for the platform IC and battery manufacturers. So you have to uh, talk with the mobile terminal manufacturers, and that's pretty tedious work, and it's happening with every company in the, in the world. At the moment. And um, so as a result, that will be a lot of extra work the logistics throughout the industry. And uh, also, as we don't have commonly accepted smart battery solutions, uh, volumes are slow, low, and that means usually higher price. So if we can somehow standardize <coughs> the standard battery, uh, smart battery, we can uh, probably get the uh, lower price at some point. And because it has slowed down the smart battery concept, uh, um, we, we cannot basically have this um, product safety things built in very easily. And also we are adding uh, or missing value added benefits uh, all of them that increase actually the battery life and um, also you get more out of it. And as of today, there's no uh, such standards available that fulfill all specific needs that we have been uh, talking. And uh, thanks to MIPI, uh, all the, these um, parties are presented to MIPI. And that's very 